Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you guys my tattoos and kind of what they mean and when I got them, my pain levels, just kind of everything about my tattoos. Let's get right into today's video. So let's kind of start off with the small ones. I have these two tattoos on my wrist. I'm actually going to get a little bit close for you guys. I have these two tattoos on my wrist. The first one that I have, which is like right here, I really hope that you guys can see it, is this heart right here. And I got this heart, um, like, this was last year in 2019. This is actually a stick and poke tattoos. Both of these tattoos on my wrist are stick and poke tattoos. Um, I got this heart because it symbolizes love. And on top of it symbolizing love, it also, my aunt has this heart. Both of my aunts have this heart. One aunt has it here. And I don't know where the, I think the other aunt also had, my other aunt also has it behind her ear. But this kind of is just a thing that my aunts have. And I was like, I like it. I'm going to get it too. Now I'm the only one that did the dot. If you can see, I'm the only one that did the dot next to it. But I just think that it gave my tattoo a little bit of a more personality for me. And on a level of 1 to 10, the pain on this stick and poke. It, I'm not going to say that it was unbearable because I I, be, I bared through it. I got the tattoo. But it was... It was rough. It hurt it a lot. Like the stick and poke, because the motion is super slow, I think you get to feel it a lot more. So on a level of one to 10, I guess you could say the pain was about an eight, seven or eight, a nine in certain areas. And this LG, it symbolizes my little brother. His name was George. He passed away, um, but his nickname was Little George. So that's kind of why I got the LG. If you can see, it's it's actually not done. It and it needs to be fixed, fixed. It needs to be centered. It needs to be fixed a lot. I don't know if I'm going to get it covered and relocated. I have no idea. But it was a stick and poke, and we kind of just never finished it. And I got this tattoo this year, I believe, in January. It's not that old. And let's move on to a little bit of my larger pieces. So the first tattoo that I had ever got was this sunflower on my chest. And you can see there is something next to it. But there is this sunflower. Let me, flower, let me move my necklace. It's this sunflower that's on my chest. And it says Monica and George. Those are my parents' names. Um, and I got this when I was 16. I had turned six. Yeah, I had turned 16. Um. And then I got it a few months later. This didn't hurt that bad. When he got up to around yeah, the collarbone area, so up here, it, it kind of hurt it. This tattoo is not finished. It needs to be cleaned up. It's not done. Shaded a bit more. It needs to add, have some more stuff added to it. It is not finished. Actually, none of these tattoos that you're seeing now are finished except for the heart. That tattoo symbolizes... And the reason why is right there. So if you don't know, your heart is on your left side. It's right there. And that's where my tattoo is. So my mom and dad's name being over my heart always means that I will always love my parents. Always, always. They're always going to be with me in my heart no matter if they're on earth. No matter if they're not. This tattoo will always be a reminder for them being in my heart and my love for them. Now I have this larger piece right here, which actually connects with my sunflower tattoo. And this tattoo is a, it's just a, some random flowers. So it's two random flowers. I really hope that you guys can see. There's a random flower, it's some leaves. And then it's a sunflower and a rose and some more leaves up there. But I got this tattoo when I turned 17 a, a few days after my birthday. This is like my one of my favorite tattoos. I really love this tattoo. It's super big. So right here, you can see it's some words and it says, love you, Grandma Julia. So... My grandmother passed away when I was 13, um, and me and her had an unbreakable bond. I, I really was close with my grandma 
we had an unbreakable bond. Um, and one of the last cards that she had got me just a few months before she passed away was a card for my birthday. And on the bottom of the card, she wrote, love you, comma, grandma, Julia. So I was like, I'm never going to get rid of that card, but I always wanted to keep it with me. And I was just like, how can I keep what she said? Like keep her handwriting something dearest to her that that like someone can't take away that can't be damaged and I, I couldn't figure it out for the life of me and then I was like thinking about it like ding a ding ding I'm gonna get it tattooed so even if I do lose the car which I hope never happens but that's it's likely if I move or whatever it's likely that I will lose the car um and it's very unlikely that I'll lose my skin hopefully not don't want me to lose my skin but um yeah that's what she signed on the card and it it really does have a lot of meaning to it for me as you guys probably already know uh, i really love that part of my tattoo i think it makes it stand out from other flowers um this tattoo is actually not done i'm thinking about getting it colored but there's some line work that needs to be fixed up in my tattoo because when I got it, my it kind of swelled up. That's kind of my natural reaction to a tattoo. My skin swells up. Even when I got this tattoo done, it swelled up pretty big. So my natural, my skin's natural reaction to a tattoo is to swell up. So that's what happened. That's kind of why you can see some of the line work might be off. But it's going to get fixed in the summertime, hopefully. I had plans to get it fixed before the stay at home order was issued and obviously I can't do that right now so that has to be put off for a bit but yeah and this tattoo the pain of this tattoo was actually it hurt it a lot more than the other ones maybe because it's a bigger tattoo but the pain for this one I could say was about a five um which might not seem like a lot to you but it was about a five it was tolerable it got finished but that's it for today's video, you guys, and I hope that you guys really enjoy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!